and distribution for the India Pakistan World Cup clash next Sunday in Adelaide has been huge among India and Pakistani diaspora living down under. While millions would be glued to their television set to watch the world's greatest cricket rivalry of all time, thousands of Indians and Pakistanis are expected to converge from interstate and global at the iconic Adelaide Oval to witness the game. The tickets of the game are completely sold out within hours after the sale began a few months ago and is expected to pull the largest crowds of the two nations living in Australia at one place. The 140-year-old oval has been recently redeveloped and the capacity has been increased to over 50,000 with new world-class spectator facilities. A Melbourne resident, Sharan Singh, who travelled to Adelaide by road, said, I am excited. I have taken off from work and we are a group of eight, including my nephew, who is coming from New Zealand to see the game. My boss knows that is our World Cup. In Adelaide, the atmosphere is also heating up with even managers organising pre- and aftermatch parties at bars and restaurants for cricket fans. South Australia Tourism Commission, the apex body to promote tourism in the state, said the game is a real draw card as it will reach an anticipated global television audience of over 1 billion people. According to official data, Adelaide has 18,000 beds in the larger hotel sector and a conservative estimate of the total accommodation sector is said to be around 25,000 beds in a 25km radius of the city. STAC said that advanced bookings made by the spectators and tourists have indicated that occupancy rates will be very high over the second half of February when the World Cup is on. The state government has also developed a new microsite pack with information for visitors coming to Adelaide for the ICC Cricket World Cup. The microsite will be a one-stop shop for information especially for international visitors. For records, India and Pakistan have met in Adelaide once before. A crowd of 11,263 turned up in January 2000 to watch short of Ganguly's 141 underpin, an Indian total of 6 for 267 that proved beyond the grasp of Pakistan. Even if Azar Mahmood collared 67 from 50 balls under lights, Anil Kumble's four wickets ensured a comfortable margin. Though in the context of the summer, it was misleading. Under Sachin Tendulkar's captaincy, this was the only match India won all two, and Wasim Akram's Pakistan made Australia in the triangular series finals. MS Dhoni's team have at least removed that sort of stain from the two ledger by easing past Afghanistan on Tuesday night. They were fated on Wednesday evening by a large crowd in the public reception put on at the Oval South Gate. The genial former test wicketkeeper Wayne Phillips engaged in a friendly question and answer session with Dhoni while many a tricolour was waved and stalls sold food and drink. The team of young hopefuls has enjoyed a stretch of training and playing in Adelaide in the lead-up to Sunday. One evening, barbecue saw the Australian coach and Adelaide native Darren Lemon come to visit them. These good-natured scenes may be provided with something of a contrast when the two rival nations square off on Sunday. But the organisers are hopeful that the definitive image will be of cricket rather than conflict. Based on Adelaide's history, it is a reasonable expectation.